Get involved at Metropole TVKE across all your social media platforms. Hashtag business uh, Emma 2146. That is your SMS line. I am at Kiage Simba. This is your sector trends. Now, according to the World Health Organization on the African Regional Health Report, the health of people is the first report to focus on the health of the 738 million people living in the African region of the world. Now, health organization. Now, while acknowledging that, Africa confronts the world's most dramatic public health crisis. Now, the report offers hope that over time, the region can address the world health challenges it faces given sufficient international support. But today, a time when technology is disrupting every facet of our lives, healthcare records in Kenya and in most of Africa are still paper-based. Well, joining us to discuss this evolution and the importance of data analytics in revitalizing healthcare systems in Kenya and Africa is a Oscar Nganga GM and Business Development Mebuk Africa. Mr. Nganga, how are you doing, sir? Thank you very much. I'm doing well. Fantastic. I mean, healthcare conversations now are, are, are getting more and more important, especially at the time that we're dealing with the coronavirus crisis in the world. So talk to me about Medbook. Who are you? What are you doing? Good. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. Yes, uh, uh, so I want to give you a brief about Medbook and what we stand for. Yes. So let me give you a brief history. Uh, 2014, we start as a JV between Strathmore University and iLabs. And the idea is to create an electronic medical records because we found that uh, m many people were not um, did not have access to their own medical records and they were scattered all over in different particular hospitals. Yes. So the first particular product that you come up with is a MedBook app. So on the MedBook app, um, the patients around the country are able to go on into it. They're able to search for a particular doctor and they're able to book for a particular doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And uh, we found that uh, that now revolutionized the whole industry, the medical industry in the year 2014 to 2016. And now, uh, after that, we realize that you now when these particular patients get to the doctor's facilities, the doctor needs another software to be able to run his facility. And that's when we created another software called Med360. So Med360 will automate a health facility from patient registration, mm -hmm. triage, uh, doctor consultation, and the doctor is now able to send you to a radiology laboratory. And in our case, you're admitted. So this is an ERP that is able to run your facility from end to end. Then after that, the other thing we realize that doctors are facing a very huge problem in these countries that they are not able to claim back from the insurer should the patient uh, use his or his medical card. Yes. That's when we created another software called MediClaim. Now MediClaim allows the facility to now claim back from all these insurance companies in Kenya and uh, it's made easy because it's now paperless and everything is automated. Uh, the last uh, solution that we launched around two months ago was yes. the Flora by Medbook app that gives uh, young ladies in this country access to certified gynecologists, nutritionists and psychologists in Africa. Uh, so what happens is that the young ladies are actually able to go on the app and actually be able to uh, search for a particular gynecologist and book for an appointment. The, one of the big big uh, differentiators that we have among all these other sexual reproductive health apps in the country is that this one is purely made for the African woman and it addresses the challenges that young women in Kenya are getting. Yes. So one of the key features will be a young lady is able to even, if it's a young lady below the age of 18, the mother is able to link uh, her daughters in the app so creating a safe space where these young girls are actually getting uh, good information and uh, they're in a, in a safe place. Married people, are, uh, women are able to link to their partners and their partners are able to actually know when the wife is fertile and they can even plan for it. So no other app in the Kenyan market is able, and global is able to link uh, partners and even mothers and daughters. Yes. Yeah. I want to ask you, um, Oscar. Yes, please. Yes, it, it looks as if, wow, we're sort of saying, let's give you solutions with technology. But do you believe that the healthcare system in the country is poised for this, I would say, revolution that you're trying to set up? Because it looks as if you're addressing those critical areas that our healthcare system in the country needs. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
uh, in the beginning there was a low adoption of technology because yes. the question was uh, how, how safe are the records? How safe are you as MedBook to keep our records? But we've invested so much in terms of even the security of, uh, of these particular records. Uh, so the system, first of all, the company is ISO certified in the ISO that deals with the, with the I ICT. And also, um, we are able to host these particular solutions on global servers, yes. whereby hacking and even penetration is impossible. The, the system also complies with uh, health level seven standards, which are international standards in the healthcare, and also we are HIPAA compliance. Yes. So in the beginning, it, the adoption was very low, but people have gotten to now appreciate all these things that lead to having that convenience that they can actually get, get their yes. medical records at a click of a button. Now, we'll want to talk about what you've spoken about right now. When you actually started out, you said, let's make it easy to get a doctor. Yes. Book a doctor. Yes. You can go in and, and, and get proper service without essentially having to walk into a hospital. Fine. And then you kept on changing over time. What, what led to this change? Is it the realization that your service was not complete then out of the demands that you're getting or that was part of your plan to pretty much go? And have you been addressing it? Is it from your end to them or from them to your end. I'm talking about the people that you want to work with, the, the insurers, the doctors as well. Has it been, we need this, or we think you need this, sir? Let's sell it to you. Okay. Yes. Uh, in, the, in the wider vision of the company, as, uh, as we were forming it in 2014, yes. the idea is, first of all, uh, let's think about the patient. So what does the patient want? So initially, the patient wanted um, the convenience, the convenience that they can actually ensure that uh, if they visit uh, Aga Khan Hospital today and they visit uh, MP Shah tomorrow, they, 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 there is a way that all these medical records can be automated yes. and the medical records belong to the patient, okay? So we had done the same thing, uh, other companies have done the same thing in FinTech. So we sat down and th thought about it, why don't we do the same thing in health tech, okay? So we realized as uh, uh, markets, market, um, the market was changing, so the, pa the patient not only wanted to have access to medical records, but this patient was also a member of an insurance company. So, and also we wanted to talk about how do we also help the doctors, okay? So this is part of the long-term vision that we can provide an end-to-end -end solution whereby from patient uh, searching for a particular doctor to the end whereby now the insurer is actually now paying the claim that the patient initiated. Yes. All right. So talk to me about some of the culture challenges that you have faced in the country. Because, well, Kenya is well known in terms of adoption. We've been called laggards, actually. We've waited until the last minute. Is that something that you've been forced to fight? Or for you, you will say the adoption stage, when you pretty much started rolling it out, what would you blame? the slow adoption rate at the first uh, rollout of uh, your business. Okay, so let me take you back to 2014, 2015, yes. 2016. Yes. We were in product development. We had rolled out a minimum viable product uh, that was in the market. And so some of the challenges that we were getting at that point was uh, the question was, are my medical records safe? Um, of course, in any particular society, there are people who, are, who say that this cannot work. Uh, Africa is not ready for this. And these are things that have been done in global markets. Yes. Uh, so one of the issues was just the acceptability. Uh, secondly, was also the issues about internet penetration. Yes. But uh, with time, uh, as, as you mentioned, all those other countries, uh, Kenya now is, in terms of in internet penetration, is fourth in Africa. Yes. So that has really, really helped us because now our solutions are in all 47 counties in terms in relation to the claims management software. In relation to the HMIS, we are in 32 counties. Yes. We've actually expanded. We are in all East African countries and also in uh, Nigeria and Ghana. Currently, we have over 500 hospitals uh, across those regions uh, using one of our solution. And we now have 2.5 million members at the last count interacting with one of MedBook platforms. Yes. So it, uh, it, was, it was hard like any other business, very hard from the beginning, but the acceptability has really improved. Yes. People uh, are happy that the idea that they can have their medical records. So Simba, let me, let me give you an example. Uh, you were in hospital one year ago, okay? And uh, you go to hospital today in the afternoon. You can't possibly remember what diagnosis or what uh, medicine that was prescribed to you in a particular hospital one year ago. Yes. But if you were using the MedBook app, you just have to go to your app, 
and the data is in your control. You choose whether to give it to that particular hospital or that particular doctor. So the doctor does not have to start the cycle all over again. So that eliminates the need for unnecessary tests, uh, misdiagnosis, or even unnecessary prescriptions. Yes. Because the doctor has your whole history. Now think about this. Uh, a kid goes for immunization and is captured on the MedBook platform. By the time this kid is getting to 18, all these medical records are at the touch of that particular person. Okay, so what does this tell you? Is that uh, during that particular um, interaction with doctors and medical facility, there will never be an issue of med, uh, misdiagnosis yes. and treatment will be faster. So we are saving the Kenyan Kenyan people time. We are saving them. We are saving them resources because why do we need to keep doing tests then we are s safely storing their data and we're giving them a convenience yes oscar i'm going to ask you this as well because i mean bigger hospitals or, or advanced hospitals will pride themselves in creating your profile that you are our client we want to take care of you some of them might be even giving you some of this insurance that we're talking about this morning some of them have specific family or, or clan targeted insurances have you been forced to try and convince them how different your product is and how do you approach that second of a hospital that tells you, well, we have over time built a clientele that will keep on coming back because they believe in our service and we think that we have their proper records. How are you working with that? Um, yes, and, and what you're addressing now is uh, how how to tackle change yes. when it comes to health tech. Yes. Uh, you'd find out um, it's not that easy. Uh, people are accustomed to a way of doing things. So what we come into is to show them the convenience. Oh, sure. The idea that there's a hospital in Kenya that can now um, concentrate on their core business, which is treating patients. Which is treating patients. Yeah. Is your promise, is your promise, you don't get a worry. You don't even have to go to your normal hospital because even if you go over this other side, they'll access your records instantly. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And uh, uh, so we make it easy for hospitals who don't want to change by yes. telling them that I can, I can even push, uh, I can even push patients to you. So you concentrate on what you do best, which is treating patients. Leave the marketing, leave the accessibility, leave yes. the convenience to be handled by MedBook. Yes. So MedBook gives us the platform such that uh, Simba can go online and actually book for a consultation. Yes. So why does a hospital have to spend so much, uh, a big marketing budget, and I can give you the platform to be access more than 45 million uh, patients in this particular country. Pretty much, therefore. I'd like to think that in your growth, which I'd like to say has been exponential since 2014 up to where you are right now, going by where you are and the database of um, uh, people that you already have using your services, is that you must have really thought about strategic partnerships that have really gotten you to this area. How easy has it been, especially for people that you have to work with? Talk to me even about the insurance firms. Have they been welcoming to you or have they been thinking twice and saying, hey, we got to come back, man? Uh, uh, true, true. Uh, thanks for that, Simba. 2014-2016 uh, was a very hard year. Yes. Uh, we were in product development. We spent a lot of resources to ensure that we have developers in country. Yes. Uh, most other companies will outsource these jobs to other countries. So all MedBook developers, all MedBook training staff, support staff, uh, we have a 24-hour call center are in-house. Yes. So there was a very huge uh, investment to ensure that by the time we get to fully rolling it out, we are able to convince people. Yes. One of the biggest partners we have is uh, uh, the arm of the Canadian government who have really invested in us. And they invested in us in now rolling out the Flora by MedBook, the Sexual Reproductive Health app. Yes. So if we're able to convince that, uh, which was very hard, because uh, it was a grant funding and we are competing globally with other companies. Uh, locally, we we have managed yes. so we have other we have insurance companies who are using mediclaim the claims management system yes and the response has been good and um, we have been now talking to uh, other arms of the government uh, to see how now we can even support uh, the kenyan government in terms of universal health care yes yeah. and, and i would like to think there's so many opportunities that are open for you in terms of really working together with the government because that has been one of the the, the reasons that's why universal health care has not been rolled out fully because they, they keep on saying well there has a lot of deficits here and there okay let's talk about what you like medbook therefore to be in the next few years, I don't want to. I don't want to put a timeline on it, Oscar. Okay, okay. Um, no, I, I can give. I can give you figures. <laughs> you can uh, give me figures, fine. My vision. Yes. My vision, and which uh, now is a vision of the company. Yes. By the year twenty twenty four, 
we have to roll out in every African country. Yes. We want to create the Amazon of healthcare. We want to create a convenience that somebody in Botswana can search for a medical professional who is not available in Botswana but can be linked to a medical professional here in Kenya. Yes. We want to make it easier for these doctors in this country to have access to these patients. Okay? So there's somebody out there who lacks the information about knowing where this particular specialist is. Okay? Yes. Even among your friends, if somebody is looking for a gynecologist, how do they do, what do they do? Do they go on Google? Where do they get this accurate information? Uh, uh, Simba, you've, you've seen on the news in Kenya whereby you have these quack doctors in this particular country. People who are, off, uh, who are opening up facilities, pretending to be doctors, and coming up with that title called doctor. Yes. All, all medical practitioners on any platform of MedBook has been certified, okay? So we are, uh, we are in partnership with the Medical Council. We are in partnership with, to ensure that all the doctors in this particular platform are certified. We are in partnership with the Pharmacy and Poison Spoke to ensure that every medication prescribed on that any particular medical product, uh, 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 med medical platform, yes. is, is legit uh, medicine. Yes. And so those are the things that we are doing. So the vision for us, uh, for lack of a better word, and this is a business show, uh, Amazon of Healthcare. <laughs> yes. We want to be everywhere. We want yes. to be 2024 touch more than 1.2 billion lives. Yes. So, so just as we clear, Oscar, this morning, therefore, talk to me. I mean, you've, you've spoken about a lot of services that are under MedBook now. How do I get all of them in one umbrella? Good. Uh, so uh, just remember we have uh, different products for different people. Yes. So we have the uh, Flora by MedBook. It's available on, I, I, on uh, a Play Store yes. uh, that gives young ladies access to certified gynecologists. We have Med360, which is a health management information system yes. that can now run any facility from the big six hospitals to even a local dispensary. Yes. We have uh, MediClaim, which is a claims management software that will now automate any insurance company. And we, we are now relaunching the MedBook app uh, uh, in the next two weeks in, uh, uh, to now give access to people to any general practitioner. The reason we are relaunching the app is because as a result of COVID, uh, things are changing. People are asking for more. People are asking for telemedicine. Nice, so I want to give the, uh, people in Kenya the platform to go on a particular app and get access to any particular specialist in any part of the world. Yes. So this is a consultation. This is a situation whereby should they want a test to be done uh, at the comfort of their home, they go on the app, uh, see a doctor, uh, a, a, t a sample can be collected using uh, these uh, border borders, uh, then it can be taken to a certified lab, the certified lab can give uh, the result, yes. transmitted to the doctor, the doctor can do that, okay? Yes. At the comfort of your home. Yes. So why do you have to leave home and I can give you access to all these particular doctors? Pretty much now for in 45 seconds, Oscar, that's the last question this morning. Technology and health, do you think that that's what is going to lift Africa's healthcare system to where it needs to be? And how far is our country especially? Yes, that was in the initial vision, but I, I never thought it would be this quicker. Yes. Um, uh, so it helps in any particular business, invest well. Get the developers, get, get the, all the particular resources in-house, so there's a lot of collaboration in one particular space. Mm -hmm. We thought it would take uh, a minimum of 10 years. We've been able to achieve uh, basically uh, first part of our strategic plan in the last three years. So the future is endless. Pretty much. Oscar, thank you very much for joining thank us this morning. Well. Now you do know, you don't need to leave your house. Talk to us at Metropole TPKE across all your social media platforms. You want to get in touch, you don't know what to do, let the messages come in 2146 right now. We take a short break. Once we come back, let's look at what you're waking up to in terms of your biggest economic headlines this morning. Good morning.